St. Eustatius is a Dutch municipality spanning 21 square kilometers in the northeastern Caribbean. The island's rich cultural history is found on land and beneath the sea. Maritime archaeology explores the past through the study of material culture and human interaction with bodies of water. The Shipwreck Survey Expedition Team explores the various traces of submerged material culture and its relation to the island. Documentation, model construction, and the conservation of artifacts will ensure accurate preservation of these remains for future study. After an extensive Amer-Indian occupation, Stacia was permanently settled by the Dutch in 1636. From that point on, the island was so intensely sought after it changed hands 22 times between global superpowers. Established as one of the first free ports in the Atlantic world, activity on Stacia boomed. The global goods circulated through on a massive scale. Dubbed as the Golden Rock, Stacia became one of the most important ports in the Caribbean during the 18th century. In 2018, the St. Eustatius Center for Archaeological Research encountered an intact Spanish olive jar previously resting at 24 meters below sea level. The Shipwreck Survey Expedition Team decided to recover this artifact to ensure its preservation. Once recovered, the conservation process began immediately to ensure the jar's condition remained stable. The olive jar was dated to the 17th and 18th century using characteristics of vessel shape, rim shape, and circumference. Historical records indicate over 200 vessels wrecked around the island in colonial times. On November 16, 1776, Stacia fired the ceremonial 11-gun salute to recognize the American colonies as a sovereign nation. Stacia's prosperity came to an abrupt end when the French seized control of the island in 1795 and imposed various trade restrictions, causing most merchants to leave the island for alternative free ports in the region. In order to learn more about Stacia's maritime trade and the location this was carried out, the team surveyed five different areas in the historic roadstead. Dense concentrations of artifacts were discovered on two of these dives using transect methods. The archaeological assemblages that can be seen underwater today show a variety of artifacts that include ceramics, glass, anchors, and cannons. These groupings allow us to recreate the story of those ships lost to history. Nine days, eight research dives, seven cannons, five anchors, one extraction, and dozens of items documented, the shipwreck survey completed the expedition. It is of paramount importance to accurately document underwater archaeological sites they are affected by natural processes or human interaction. 
we are slowly uncovering more of Stacia's lost underwater history, but much still remains a mystery.